Does your BMW E30 not run? One thing you might want to check is E30 didn't start up, so right now I'm just gonna replace the fuel pump relay, give it another shot. If it doesn't start up, then we're gonna replace the spark plugs and the cap and rotor. Came right out. So when you're going to change your spark plugs, you'll have to remove these tips for the E30. So there's these little tips that are not necessary on the spark plug. So I'm going to take these off using some pliers. No way. It did take it off. Nice. So. With the E30, you'll want to make sure that you remove the tips of your spark plugs before you put them in. Now I'm 100% yeah, sure this time, 100% sure it's gonna start. that it's not going to start. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a fuel flow. Alright, so it's time to change the plugs. Pretty simple job. Supposedly, there's one, two. Three, four, five, there's the other one, that looks bad. Okay, about to remove the cap, one thing you want to do is just take off each plug one at a time and plug them into the cap. This way you don't lose track of what wire went where. So I'm going to knock that out really quick and then I'll show you what the cap looks like with the new wires. One at a time. There's the old one, and the new one. All right, now it's time to change the cap, uh, the rotor. Just got the cap off, and I will now be replacing the rotor. It looks like it used some Allen keys to get it off, and there's about three bolts. And I'll be replacing it with this part right here. So, looks pretty easy to get to. There's the old rotor next to the new rotor. You can see this old one's in bad shape. Okay, so I'm about to put the cap back on. Uh, super easy. It'll just slide right back in. And then I will put the spark plugs back in and start her up. All right, everything's installed. I'm just going to put these spark plugs in now. Um, just putting them in by hand at first and then I will begin to thread them in but just kind of getting them all in place after I get the spark plugs in I will give it a start 
Okay, spark plugs are in. Now I'm just gonna plug in all the wires and the battery. Try and start her up. If it doesn't start up, then fuel pump. All right, folks, round two. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna start. So I ended up changing the caps, the rotor, the spark plugs, but I do not hear a fuel pump whenever I, I turn the key and give it power. So I'm pretty sure it's a fuel pump issue at this point, but at least I'm gonna give her another shot just to see if maybe it was spark. So normally at this point I'd be hearing a, a fuel pump in any other vehicle. I'm not hearing it, so let's see what happens. Try that again. Nothing. Nothing. So it's going to be fuel pump next. A lot more money to put into her. But it's fun, so stay tuned. Time to replace the fuel pump. So what I've done so far is just remove the rear seat. And I'm going to take off these four screws to get access to the fuel pump. I actually have a fuel filter and a fuel pump. But for now, I'm just going to put the fuel pump in. Stay tuned. Just got the four screws out, so now I'm just going to pull the cover up. That's horrible. And there's a gasket around it. So there's the fuel pump, and I'll be pulling this sucker out. The next thing you will want to do is pull these wires off. So now I'm just removing these four eight millimeter bolts here. Um, they were already pretty loose on my fuel pump. And what I'm going to do is this hose is very, very uh, rough right now, so I'm first going to pull out the fuel pump sending unit and then see if I can wiggle the fuel pump uh, hose out by just kind of maneuvering the fuel pump that direction. So we'll see if I can get this out right now. All right, next I'm going to remove the fuel sending unit. I just got the four eight millimeter bolts out. You might want to take a flathead screw screwdriver and just kind of pry under it in order to first get some of that grease and debris loose to free it. Once you free it up, you can pull the fuel sending unit out, but I am not just yet going to pull mine out because there might be some fuel that's going to drip out of it, and I want I need to get a bucket to put it in, so I'll be right back. Okay, so far the hardest part has just been removing this hose here. Um, it's just It was just a pain in the neck. Really old hose. And I probably should run down to a local parts store and get another fuel hose. But I am very short on time. So the next step is just to free up the fuel pump. It will actually move out counter... Uh, clockwise so one approach that you could use is you just grab two of your flathead screwdrivers and position them so that you can I just kind of position them across each other like as so and using the bolts right here I can kind of maneuver it to turn it counterclockwise another approach is to kind of just use the little ridges along the outer skirt of the fuel pump and just kind of give a tap with a with a hammer to kind of free it up 
So right now I'm just gonna free mine up. I can't really give you a good camera angle on how I'm gonna do this, but let's see if this is... No, I'm just gonna stop recording at this point, but I'm just going to turn the fuel pump counterclockwise to remove it. Okay, I just got the fuel pump out and it looks horrible. So I'll show you what the new one looks like, but this one looks horrible. This has been an easy job so far with the previous one. That little bag had actually fallen off. Okay, so now I have the fuel pump in place. Um, I'm just going to turn it clockwise now in order to tighten it up and then I will add these sensors and everything will pretty much be the reverse order. Super easy. So I probably won't record the rest of this and let's see if it actually starts up now. still feel cool ever since you started listening to Miley Cyrus a lot. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, today's the day you get to do all the work. It's your favorite time. There's nothing more that you like than fixing the car. <laughs>